Hey guys, can you believe that it's almost New Year's Eve already? This year has just flown by, I cannot believe it. So I put together this gorgeous look for you. It's perfect for whatever you're doing on New Year's Eve, whether it's just dinner or if you're going out to a really eventful evening. It's very glamorous, very shimmery, so it's perfect for the night. Hope you guys like it. So I pretty much have one eye done. I'm just gonna show y'all how to do the other one. Um, I already have my eyebrow done and then I started with a concealer base and then I have my um, scotch tape just right here to have that clean angle that I usually do. So let's get started. So as usual, I'm gonna start out with just a vanilla color for my base and a highlight under my eye. So I'm gonna take the Carly Bible palette and just that vanilla color. And just lightly pack it under my brow for a highlight. And then I'm also gonna put it on the lid of my eye. Okay, so for the first color I'm going to take, it's Party Time by ColourPop. And I'm just going to use that as my transition color. It's just a really nice purpley gray color. And I'm going to pack that on about two or three times. Just into the crease. I'm going to go side to side and then also do a little bit of circle so it's a really smooth blend. Okay, you might be able to see a little better like that. And you can, for this look, you could pretty much use any transition color. I like to use purple just because I feel like it brings out my brown eyes. So if you have Blue or green eyes, you could obviously use a different color. That's just a really nice transition. Then I'm going to take Carbon by MAC, and I'm going to use this in the crease of my eye. Then I'm just going to go in with that Party Time color again and just kind of blend out the crease, because I don't want it to go straight from purple to black. I want it just a little bit blended out. And now from ColourPop, I'm also going to take the color Envy. I don't know if you can see on camera. So it's just a gorgeous black, but it has this purple shimmer to it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. They have really great shades, and I like it because with this one, while we're wearing it, it's going to be black, but then it, with the light shining on it, it'll have a nice twinkle of purple. So I'm going to take that and basically just pat it on to wherever I put black. So I'm going to fill in the outer V. And like I said, you can't really tell that it's purple right now, but when you're in the light and you turn and um, and you uh, blah, 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 blah. when you just turn and stuff in the light and the way the light hits it, you'll be able to notice that it's. So you're just gonna pat this color onto anywhere that you have black on your eyes. So I'm gonna do the outer V, and then I'm gonna follow it in the crease, and then enter into that inner corner. And then I'm gonna take that transition color again and just buff that out. Okay, now to fill in this middle part, we're gonna take a color by L'Oreal Paris. This is the color Silver Sky, and these are so pigmented. They're all very shimmery colors. It's a shimmery collection, but they are just really pigmented and gorgeous. And I just love how it's not like speckles of glitter where it's like sh falling everywhere. It's just a shimmer. It's so pretty. So I'm just gonna pack it on into that middle part where the, all the vanilla color was, and then just a little bit on the outside of that just so it blends. So it goes a little bit onto the dark color. And then I'm just gonna touch up the black a little bit. So this look is gonna take some time just because there's so many different colors and they're so contrasting. So you don't wanna have any harsh lines, so I'm just gonna really work on blending everything. 
And then I'm gonna take that silver color once again, pack that on. Okay, and that should be it for the eyeshadow. So we're gonna take the tape off. It's just a gorgeous straight edge on both eyes. It looks really nice. Now I'm just gonna apply some false lashes. Okay, so I just threw on the Ardell Wispies and now that I have them on, I do think that they aren't um, dramatic enough for a look like this just because it's very dramatic and dark and lots of really bold colors. So I do recommend getting a little bit more of a dramatic lash. Um, Ardell does a lot of really good ones. They're usually under the glamour. Um, so I would just recommend doing that. I just had these, so I threw them on. So now I'm just gonna put on my face makeup and then we'll finish off the look. Okay, so now that I have my face makeup done, I'm just gonna finish up the eyes. She wanted to join me. Okay, so for under the eye, I'm gonna take my transition color, Party Time. I'm just gonna brush that under my lash line. This will give it an all together smoky look, so not everything is just on your upper eyelid. And then I'm just going to take that other um, ColourPop color, Envy, which is the one that we patted on last with the purple shimmer. I'm just going to very lightly push that on to my lower lash line. And for this look, if you wanted to, you could throw on some black liner. I'm not a big fan of using liner just because I feel like it makes my eyes look really small. But if that's something that you wear all the time or feel like this look needs, then go for it. And then I think for just a finishing touch, I'm going to put some of that silver shimmer just on my inner tear duct. And then now I'm just going to follow up with um, some black mascara on my lower lash line. And for this look, I think that you could probably do a pink lip, like a really light pink lip, um, but I want to use more of a purple lip. So I'm gonna take Trap by ColourPop. This is one of their liquid lipsticks, I think. It's one of the ultra matte lips. So it starts out pretty glossy, but it ends up being extremely matte. And this is more of like a stone color. It's kind of like a purplish gray, like very similar to the shadow. So I think it'll go really well with this look. I actually changed my mind. It's a little bit too gray for this look. So I'm going to take Supernatural um, by Revlon and just put that on top to add a little bit of pink. I think that's a little bit better. All right. So thank you guys for watching. That's it for this look. I hope you'll have a really fun and safe New Year's Eve. I'll see you guys next time.